So I got elected two years ago with uh, an idea of a number of things that I wanted to accomplish. For me, being elected wasn't just about being up at the Capitol. It was about actually enacting and affecting change. And one of these things has been broadband. And the way that I describe it to people is that if you envision what the world was like before we had a federal highway system, it's hard to imagine what that would be like going forward into the future. What would this massive network of transportation look like if you didn't already have it? But it took vision, it took stalwartness, it took investment, and it took people who really knew that even if we don't know what the world is going to look like, we need to make that investment to allow it to happen. And that's what I see broadband as being, is that we have a patchwork of these sort of dusty bumpkin roads, but what we should be looking forward to is creating this patchwork of really incredible, fast, affordable gigabit, gigabit internet speeds. Not just for those infotech people and companies and not just for biotech, but to bring up the base so that everybody has an equal chance at a good education and we can have parents at home going to Khan Academy and knowing that they'll be able to access whatever it is they need to access. And I was surprised by the amount of pushback that there was with this idea from people who I expected to be allies so whether this was unions who felt that this would hurt their jobs, or this was from the mayor's office worried about what this would mean politically in terms of the overall costs to implement, whether it was from big telecoms seeing that the, the power structure would, would leave their grasp. But my feeling is, is that we should be finding a way to work on this project together. I don't care if it's public. I don't care if it's private. I don't care if it's public-private. I just know that the only way we're going to get to the future is if we are very proactive in making sure that it happens. And so for my vantage point as someone who's in politics, what I'm trying to do is make sure the field out there knows how important this is. So I'm trying to be out there to popularize the idea. I'm going to be up here to make sure that my colleagues understand it. But the real work are from the people who are working in the municipalities, the people who are working from the think tanks, the people who are actually going to be getting this framework together. And then I see my job as explaining it to constituencies and getting them ready for it so that my colleagues know that they're protected so that when we do implement this, there's no big blowback or pushback. And I think that there's a way for us all to work together to get this done. So, if you imagine one of the problems in Connecticut is that we have youth that are leaving, we have lower income earners that are leaving, we have businesses that are worried about our infrastructure. To me, it's not that universal broadband is a panacea, but it is that if we create this framework for businesses, for youth, for people in the infotech and biotech community, that we become so much more attractive. And that narrative out there that we're this high tax state and that we're pushing businesses out, I think one way to really combat that is to provide a really excellent service to anybody who wants to come here. And I don't think businesses operate in a vacuum. They want to make sure that their employees are happy. And what could make someone happier who's working for an infotech firm to know that when they go home, they have access to affordable infrastructure, affordable broadband, and who's to say that we can't become the Silicon Valley of the East Coast. We have the purchasing power because we're a wealthy state. We're a smaller state, so we're fairly condensed. We are the perfect uh, place to implement this. And I am out there talking constantly about how important this next step is for us. And I'm so glad that all of you are coming out here today, municipal leaders from across the Northeast Corridor. Uh, thank you so, so, so much for your work I'm going to do my best to back you up and to make sure that you have the support you need up here at the Capitol and hopefully across the board in other states, the Capitol's across the board there. But it might be that we just really need to have this done in these municipal pockets first to show that we can have success, 
before we can do it on the state level, but I'll make sure that if you have success, that we have success here as well.